guys, it's your girl T, and I want to shout out Devin on Facebook. Devin sent me this story. It's crazy. Matter of fact, when I logged into Yahoo, it was the number one trending topic on Friday. And basically, if you guys have not heard, it's coming out of ratchet-ass Florida. And basically what happened is that there are two moms who end up getting into a huge brawl at a kid's talent show in Central Florida. And um, so once people found out who the main woman was, one woman was named Letitia James and the other woman was named Jessica Tyler. So on the internet, people went in on Letitia. They called her all types of racial slurs, said she doesn't deserve to be a mother. People went in on this woman and Letitia finally decided to contact the news organization and tell her side of the story. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys that news clip right now and then I will come back with the rest of my commentary interview you will only see here on local six two mothers who fight at a kids talent show and now the mom who's been arrested speaks out yeah she says she was provoked and that she was only standing up in front of other moms taking photos because they were standing up too the fight happened during a talent show at lakeview elementary school that's on fifth street in st cloud and that's where local six is mike deforest is live, is live tonight so mike the mother says she's sorry for causing a scene at the school event right uh, guard Letitia James tells us that she is extremely remorseful and extremely embarrassed about that brawl that took place here, but she also insists she's not the one who started it. This home video shows two moms getting into a physical altercation in the middle of the Lakeview Elementary talent show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I did not go to the school with the intention of messing up the show or putting my hands on anybody. I don't behave like that. Letitia James was arrested for her role in that brawl. She tells us she was standing up to get photos of her daughter on stage. In this video, you see Jessica Tyler get up to speak with James, which Tyler later described in a 911 call. I walked up to the lady. I asked her just to kneel down for a second just so I could get a picture of my niece, and she turned around and said, no, I sitting down. When they announced the second grade class, I was not the only one who stood up. After the first confrontation, Tyler returns to her seat, but moments later she gets back up and steps in front of James to begin taking her own photos. As she returns to her seat a second time, Tyler knocks over James's three-year-old daughter. Watch it again in slow motion. Tyler told police it was an accident. Once you knock my baby over, I, like I said, I, I just snapped. And and, 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 and she did not say, I'm sorry. James admits she marched back to where Tyler was seated and grabbed her throat, but claims Tyler shoved her first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I cannot say how much, how remorseful I am. I am totally remorseful. I've never been to jail before. Okay, so you guys just watched the news clip, and you know what? I honestly do believe her side of the story. I honestly do believe that she's remorseful. You know what I'm saying? She has a job. She's trying to take care of her six children. I do feel bad that, you know, her name got put out there and people went in on her. But let's be honest, there's been so many other stories where we've had other women, especially black women, out here fighting at school events. You know, just at the end of the school year in Cleveland, there was another news article that was put out there. Somebody had sent me the story of eight people being arrested because people ended up fighting at a kindergarten ceremony. So it's sad that a lot of people feel like it's okay to get into it at school events when it shouldn't be that serious. But getting back to Letitia, I do believe her story. And if you watch that video, you can clearly see that woman pushing that child. I think if somebody would have pushed my three-year-old the way that that woman did, I would have went off as well. At some point in time, Jessica needs to take personal responsibility for the role that she played in that brawl as well. I love how she hurried up to call the police and state her side of the story, but failed to mention that she pushed the woman's child down. You know, and how come out of everybody who was standing up, she felt the need to go straight to Letitia? I didn't see her tap anybody else on the shoulder. I didn't see her, you know, say, say anything to anybody else. And then the fact that... You know, she went up there, she said something the first time, she sat down, then she went back. To me, she was being an antagonizer, you know, and you just can't do that to people. Now, I agree that should parents sit down? Yes, they should. But if you've been to any type of talent show or children's assembly at the school, you always have that one parent who wants to stand up and then other parents start standing up so they can see as well. I think in the future, everyone needs to just sit their ass down and then watch the class from their seats. Because it's rude because you're standing up and other people can't see behind you. But again, that does not negate the fact that this fight should have never took place. But I do blame Jessica for a good portion of this fight. She went up there. She antagonized the situation. And then on top of that, she pushed that child. That was not an accident. 
You know, you accidentally, you might accidentally bump somebody, but you don't accidentally take your hand and swat them on the back of their head and push them out your way. She knocked that child to the ground on purpose because she felt some way about the mother not sitting down. And that was all the way wrong. So I don't blame her for sticking up for her child. But, you know, at the end of the day, it wasn't needed. And I just hope this woman does not end up losing her job. I think this whole situation is insane. And I find it funny that she was arrested, but now that there's videotape evidence and they're showing that this woman assaulted a three-year-old, how come Jessica wasn't arrested? She fought just like Letitia fought. I think they both should have sat in jail and thought about their actions. Don't just lock up Letitia, lock up Jessica's ass too. So that's my opinion on the whole situation. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys believe that it was just Letitia who was slowly at, solely at fault? Or do you feel like Jessica played a role, you know, in this fight as well? She should have also been arrested. So let me know what you guys think about the entire situation. All right. Deuces.